Hello everyone, I'm Dan Philgreen, and this is Shell Point Today for Monday, January 12th. On today's show, Russ Cray is here to talk about an upcoming Academy class about new technology. And Beth Chandley is going to do her best to get you excited about coming to the Everglades hockey game. But first, we want to remind you that tonight is the outing to Connor's Steak and Seafood in Estero. If you've already signed up, don't forget to be ready for the bus pickup. Also, coming up on Wednesday, we have Chris Pendleton, President and CEO of the Edison and Ford Winter Estates, coming to talk about the amazing history of these two properties. She will speak at 2.15 in the Social Center on the island. And Thursday of this week is the day for the Pavilion Auxiliary's annual meeting. So, if you have a blue jacket, you don't want to miss that. The march of technology never stops, and it seems to be speeding up these days. If you're trying to keep up, the Shell Point Academy of Lifelong Learning wants to help. Terry Kolat is here with Russ Cray to talk about the new classes to help you get and stay up to speed. Hello everyone, I'm Terry Colette, and I'm here today with Russ Cray of Oakmont, very instrumental in planning and organizing and presenting the Computer College here at Shell Point. And we're talking about what's new. Thanks for joining me, Russ. I'm very, very happy to be here, it's great. Well, you have worked on the Computer College with the Computer College the whole time. We've been here 11 years now, about eight or nine of us been on the Computer College. <laughs> wow. Now, we, we have some new things. We're constantly getting evaluations back from our residents, and we all know technology changes. It's going to change while you and I are sitting here. Right. So how do you keep up with what residents need and want? With difficulty. <laughs> Uh, essentially what we've done is so we sat down and said, okay, uh, what do we really need to provide to the residents so that they can do better work on their computer? And so uh, we've looked at what they do, uh, what are their most favorite things to do, mm -hmm. because that's what we do. Right. And uh, basically I think everybody here who has a computer does emailing and surfing the net. So, uh, and of course, we really have to know the basics of a computer before you can do anything. And so uh, we've, we've now tried to meet the needs of the residents by having computer courses at every level, starting at the very basic with the zero level. Uh, what we have found out is that uh, as we get older, we don't remember better. It's not quite as good. So we had to figure out better ways to learn and better ways to remember what we learned. Right, exactly. And so uh, we try to emphasize that. But uh, we fit in uh, some new courses called workshops, two sessions. And uh, basically what they're for is to uh, uh, say, okay, you had this course, uh, perhaps you didn't remember some of the good stuff that you should have remembered. Uh -huh. And uh, so we're having workshops, which will go for two weeks and refresh and and tune up uh, some stuff. <laughs> yeah, you have to really appeal to people on all different levels, don't you? Because we have many people who have never used computers. Either they didn't have to, their secretary or somebody right. did it for them, or it just wasn't something that they were interested in. And now we find exactly what you're saying. If we want to communicate with our friends and family, email, texting, you know, those are the new things that like people Skyping. want. <laughs> and Skyping. And we also find that the whole world is available to us on the internet, surfing right. the web. How amazing is that? Well, I just, um, I'm preparing a tutorial right now for having fun on the internet. Yeah. And I'm having so much fun that I can't <laughs> get the tutorial done. And uh, one of the things that's uh, really exciting to me is uh, there's a 3D uh, sites that you can go to and you can uh, look at a city or a landscape and it rotates through 360 degrees. Uh, and the one I uh, did of uh, Hong Kong, it starts with a helicopter view of, of the city of Hong Kong uh -huh. and then goes down to script, uh, eventually street level. So for the tourist, for the person who's reminiscing about where they've been, looking at our first home, what does it look like now? Everything is fascinating. So I just want to point out, because we're very grateful as a community to the fact that you and the rest of the people who have been on your steering committee, teaching your classes, assisting with classes, Megs and her group with the computer center so people can go in and out and, and practice what they're learning. Same thing at the Woodlands, Marianne works with her group and residents can help in the centers. All along, 
you've had the foresight to think what's coming down the road. First XP was coming. Then Windows 8 was coming. Well, we have to have essentially uh, in my courses, I, I do it both in 7 and 8.1 because uh, usually about half and half in class mm -hmm. of each. So it works out. We just, they're not that different, really. Right. It's, uh, it's a matter of a couple clicks and you're right. It looks just like the, the other one. So you're all set on that. But uh, I think you hit a key point where uh, uh, practice. Uh, it is so important, uh, and in the uh, we can learn by doing it in class, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is what we stress in class uh, that we do it. We do it again to be sure that you have uh, you, you've mastered it for that time. If you go home and you say like the school kids, oh, school's out. I can forget till next fall. Right. You will forget it by next yeah. fall, and you won't remember how to do it. So we're recommending you go home from class. Don't turn on the TV. Turn on your computer and practice, yeah. and and continue to practice because that'll help you remember it. And you're all so accessible. In the brochure, in the academy brochure, you list times that instructors will help people. Right. It's just fabulous. It's just that you've made such a commitment, all of you, to bringing people up to where they want to be with technology. Having fun. Having fun. <laughs> and now you've added new classes. Let's talk a few about a few of the new classes. Oh, they're really exciting. Um, yeah. As I mentioned, uh, the three uh, that we had to create a new level between zero and one. So these right. are their workshops, which are tune-ups or refreshers or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. uh, then the regular class uh, at the one level, which has been our bread and butter classes because you uh, get both the basics and extend into different uh, programs. and. Right. Um, then we get into some of the more, uh, I'll call them advanced, because there are just more techniques involved. And um, we have a, a couple of new ones in here that, um, uh, that I think will be interesting. Um, as, um, uh, Larry Brock is uh, doing uh, a visiting the world virtually on your computer. And basically, you can walk the streets of Paris. And, and so it just, uh, or if you want to go to another planet, you can go there too. <laughs> that's right. And, and stress-free photo editing. I mean, yeah. how wonderful is that? I think that's our biggest problem with technology as we get older is we're afraid. You know, right. will, will, I bro will I break it? Yeah. Um, you, know, you won't will, break it. <laughs> yeah. Will I break it if I, if I do something wrong on the computer? It's like, how can I, how can I get to the point where I'm enjoying everything that's available to me right in my own home. It's just... It's, it's a, a continually learning process because, learning. Uh, as I was uh, just uh, mentioned a bit ago, that uh, uh, I've learned very recently that in Windows 8.1, you have a program available on uh, creating collages. And it's so fabulous. It's so easy to do. So, um, and I've never done it before, but it's great. That's wonderful. Well, you kind of epitomize what this is all about, Russ. And, you know, trying something new, having fun with it, and sharing with others so they can have the same kind of fun. It's very nice. Thank you. So I encourage you to go to the part of the Computer College and the Academy of Lifelong Learning. Right after page 62, you find the Computer College. If nothing else, read what these residents have done to bring our residents all the um, help they can with computers. And then take a chance. We have small classes because we want to be able to give a lot of attention to our students. We have a wonderful state-of-the-art teaching center in the tunnel on the island. And we have people like Russ Cray who are there teaching classes. Bev Chanley might be small of stature, but she loves a very tough sport, hockey. And you may not know that Bev was a very influential player, so to speak, in getting the hockey program started at FGCU. It went from nothing at all when she arrived in 2001 to a team of national champions in 2012, and now a firmly established part of the university. None of that would have happened without our Bev. Perhaps we can share more of that story another day. But right now, Bev would like you to come to see an Everblades game. And she came by to invite you in a way she hopes will be memorable. Hi, I'm Bev 
love Chanley and I love ice hockey. I grew up up north where ice hockey was real popular. Everybody played it out on the pond and some people played it in leagues. And when I moved to Florida in the year 2000, I couldn't tell you how excited I was to find out that Southwest Florida has its own professional hockey team, the Florida Everblades. Now I know a lot of you residents out there also grew up up north and in frozen wastelands where hockey was popular um, and you had your own favorite teams. But we like to go out and see these Everblades play. They're a wonderful team, so we want to get out there and support our championship team by signing up to go on the Shell Point Everblades trip. Now we will be at Jermaine Arena. There will be stairs to navigate and arena seating to navigate. So be sure you're up for the task. Should be a great night out. So grab a friend, get ready, get psyched to go see the hockey team. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We will see you then. And now let's cover all of Monday's happenings, academy news, menus, and Village Church connections right after this word from David Howenstein with a preview of his radio show on TV, Listening to the Words. This week's Listening to the Words program contains a number of stories, the first by Prairie Home Companion creator Garrison Keeler, whose written words I'm reading on this show for the first time. I have talked about him, most notably on my program number seven, when I recalled with relish his appearances at the Great Auditorium in Ocean Grove, New Jersey. You'll also hear news press columnist ja uh, John Agnew exaggerating his stay in Keeler's own Minneapolis. Next on this week's Listening to the Words, a short essay on his love of words by Welsh writer Dylan Thomas. Then lend both ears to two local writers one of them a resident of Shell Point. They tell us about their beginnings with learning to play the accordion. David Howenstein reminding you that this program plays on Shell Point Channel 12 twice each hour each day this week. That's every Monday through Sunday. And thank you for listening to the words. Hi, Shell Point. I'm Caitlin Van Scoy, and I'm here with Bev Chanley, and this is the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm going to let you know what's happening this morning. We start the day off with 8 a.m. men's match play doubles tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts, and at 8.45, virtual bowling in the Resident Activity Center. At 9.15, we have billiards being played in the Resident Activity Center. And at 9.15, we have pottery. Instruction is available in the Island Tunnel. At 10 a.m., we have men's match play doubles tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. Also at 10, we have the Suzy Q heading out to Matanzas on the Bay, and sign-up is required for that. At 10.30, we have Disciples Men's Bible Study Group in the Woodlands in the game room. And at 10.45, we have Table Tennis Playing Clinic in the Tarpon Room of the Island. 11.30, there's a Health Connections class, Specifics Cardio Conditioning in the Health Club on the Island, and that's currently closed. Here's Bev for our afternoon. Thank you, Caitlin. At 12 o'clock, we're going to start the afternoon with Mahjong. That's played in the Sable Room of the Woodlands. 12.15, the singles group kickoff meeting and luncheon will be in the social center on the island. You do need to sign up to participate in that. 1.15, we have advanced table tennis in the tarpon room. We also have Samba, the card game, in the resident activity center at 1.15. And then again at 1.15, we have tone chimes. They'll be in the Osprey room on the island. From 1.30 to 3.30, the model train room will be open for tour, so head down there if you haven't been in a while. We have a health connections class at 1.45, balance and mobility training level one. That's in the health club, and that's currently full. At 2 o'clock, it's time for the beady-eyed bead club. They gather in the oak room down at the woodlands. Our Health Connections class at 3 o'clock is Pilates Stretch. That's down in the Health Club. 3.15, we have the Shell Point Singers Rehearsal in the Choir Room at the Village Church. We have another Health Connections class at 3.30. This one's Aqua Agility and Conditioning. That's in the LifeQuest Aquatic Center. 4 o'clock is the time for Pickleball at the Pickleball Court. And at 4.30, we have a dinner outing going out. We have a, we're going down to Connor's Steakhouse and Seafood. 
Uh, the court pickups begin on the island at 4.30, at the woodlands at 4.40, and Eagle Preserve and Estuary 4.50. Sign up is required. And then 6.30 brings us to Duplicate Bridge in the game room of the woodlands. And our last activity for today is 7 o'clock, Square Dancing in the Health Club. Well, we thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hi, I'm Terry Coleff with your Academy information for Monday. At 9.15, we have a Windows 8.1 class in the Computer Teaching Center continuing on the island. At 10.15, our iPhones Basics class begins in the Manatee Room on the island, and sign-up is required. At 10.30, Anatomy of Words continues in the Oak Room of the Woodlands, and they welcome everyone. At 1.15, tune-up of the basics continues in the computer teaching center on the island. I'd like to tell you about all of our new classes coming tomorrow. We have Legendary Places, Session 2 with Professor Adrian Kerr. An iPad class, Why Do I Need One? with Penny Modrich of Nautilus. And Traveling with the Apple iPad by Judith Krug of Eagles Preserve. Math and Art, Music and Nature with Dick Brown of Parkwood. And the Alpha Course begins, presented by the Village Church. Menus for Monday. In the Crystal Room, the Crystal Platter is turkey pot pie with a biscuit and fried green beans. The dinner special is Old Home Cooking Night for eleven ninety five, And the soup of the day is tomato. In the Allen Cafe for lunch on Monday, the special is a mushroom Swiss burger with onion rings for seven twenty five. The dinner special is grilled chicken Caesar salad with garlic bread for eight twenty five, and the Palm Grill is closed on Mondays. All menus are available twenty four hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hey, y'all! I'm Karen Chamberlain, and this is Eleanor Perkins, and we're here today to tell you about the Women's Bible Study for this year. We're members of the Women's Bible Study Committee. Eleanor, it seems to be that time again, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It rolls around quicker every year. It sure does. And I think a lot of people have been curious this year about what the study is going to be on. I've had several ladies ask me, how about you? Yeah, I have too. The name of the study this year is uh, Gideon, Your Weakness, God's Strength by Priscilla Shire. You know, most of the people, we all know the story of Gideon in Judges, but a lot of people don't know who Priscilla Shire might be. And she is Pastor Tony Evans' daughter. Yes. And um, she's got a very good background. She went to um, Dallas Theological Seminary and got her degree, her master's degree in biblical studies. But her real um, extraordinary gift is bringing the depths of Scripture to life. And I personally um, experienced that this summer. I went ahead and did some of the study. And um, I saw things in Scripture that I never saw before. Yeah. And we were talking about that. Do you yeah. agree? I know what you mean, because I was the same way. It was interesting to me that she's not only a wife, she's the mother of three young sons. She teaches Bible. She travels and does that. And she said it took her about two years. She told in the uh, workbook that her dining room table was cluttered with papers for two years as she was doing this study. And she has an amazing insight that God has given her to, like you said, depths of Scripture in Gideon. We all think it's just Gideon and the 300 and the two fleeces, and there is so much more that she has brought out in this study that has already blessed me, and I'm just about halfway through, you know, skimming over it. I totally agree. She really makes it an adventure. We're breaking precedent this year, too, aren't we? Yes, we are. Why don't you tell them the difference? Well, normally we begin our Bible studies in October, and um, then we have a break uh, through November, December, January. We don't start again until February. And um, the church this year, we're all eagerly looking forward to seeing uh, what has been done with the renovations, and it's supposed to be done at the beginning of October, but you never know. And um, so that's one reason we're not beginning in October, but the most important reason is because this study really needs continuity. So. continuity. It needs that seven weeks. Um, one week is built on another week, mm -hmm. and um, that is just really important. So we are going to be starting our Bible study when this year? We're going to be starting in February, the first Tuesday in February, which is February 3rd, and it will go through March the 17th, the third week in March. And as our committee, you know, as we looked and talked about it, it's going to be so much better 
to have that continuation as we listen to what she pulls out of it, that we don't have that long break. And I think it's going to be quite a blessing for all of us. Right. So we do want everybody to mark their calendars, don't we, yes. um, for February and March. You know, we're going to be selling the workbooks, um, the Gideon workbook. It's a for those who don't like to do a lot of homework, it's not a lot, and it's very well done. The books are, again, are going to be $15 this year, and they will be on sale in the church foyer like they usually are several weeks um, prior to the, um, the study beginning. So in January, we'll start selling the books. And, but we hope that the women will mark their calendars right now, just mark off. February in the first three weeks in March as to that Tuesday is going to be Bible study. When you are so outnumbered, so unable to complete that impossible task, so in over your head that you couldn't see the light of day even if you tried, you are exactly where God wants you. When He calls you, He does not call us to do hard stuff. He calls us to do impossible stuff because he, what he likes is for us to be in position where on our best day, the 300 of our skill can only get us this far to reaching our destination. What he likes is the 300 of our emotional resources, of our time, of our money can only get us so far so that we have just placed ourselves in the realm that I like to call God margin. Somebody say God margin. It's the space that exists between your resources and the destination, the goal that God has for your life. We don't like God margin. We like when our skill can get us all the way there. We like when our talent, our money, our time, our resources can take care of that gap. But God likes it when we have a gap in our lives, when we have room, when we have made room for God to be who He is. My friend, you are not the same person that you used to be. And when you're not the same person that you used to be, you have no business going where you used to go and you don't need everything you thought that you would need. Well, I hope that all of you will be just as excited as we are once you take the study. And we're looking forward to seeing all of you join us, Eleanor Ray, yes. in, in February. Bye-bye. Right. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow when Anna Smith will be here from Finemark Bank to share some information about avoiding social security fraud. And Brian Oxley will give a preview of his academy class called The Hound of Heaven. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Monday, January 12th. I'm Dan Philgreen, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.